Chapter 2, The Real Estate Broker in the Shadows. The Shadow Broker, if you will. If you want to make a Marvel reference, which I, like, always do. It's so funny how many obscure Marvel characters now are in the public zeitgeist, especially because of the, the Disney Plus shows. Like, did you ever think Agatha Harkness would have, like, have ever trended if you were, if you were a Marvel fan back in the 80s and 90s? But anyway, welcome back, guys. I'm the Comic Foil, and we have a deliciously naked Kazuma Kiryu. He does have a big tattoo. It's just not, it's not colored yet. But he's got the he's got the outline of it. Okay. Um, so exciting thing here. This is a uh, episode five. This is my second session of playing the game here, meaning the first time that I know that this actually works and that I can do this as a let's play. So I noticed that uh, this guy, what do you say his name was? He only he keeps one hand gloved. So either that's a prosthetic hand, or he uses swords a lot and wants, like, a good grip for a sword at any time. But I'm thinking it's a prosthetic hand. Uh, what did this guy say his name was? Tachibana, that's it. I learned recently that Kamurocho is a fictitious area of Tokyo. It is a, it is a, it's based off of a real place, but Kamurocho itself is not real. So yeah, this Tachibana guy, he's, he's very polite, he's very handsome, he's very calm. Um, gives this nice unsettling air where, like, I, I think he's friendly, but he probably wants us to do something not friendly. Yeah, that, that there's a fake arm. He's got a, uh, he's got a Jamie Lannister there. ですぐに。ゴヨシャオ。数年前に失ってから寒くなると痛みます。不思議なもので。ないはずの指先まで疼いて鎮痛剤も効きません。That's funny because he looks very serene all the time, but I guess he's constantly in pain. 登場? 登場過剰? A botany term referring to a cluster of many flowers gathered to form a single large flower. Okay. Is the Yakuza like a giant flower made of smaller flowers? Oh, the sunflower. I think I knew that about sunflowers, actually. Oh, yeah, the Sunflower Orphanage. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's disturbing how much this guy knows about us. Yeah, it's disturbing how much this guy knows about us. Like, what if a stranger just invited you to dinner and then just started telling you all about your life? Well, there's no risk of expulsion. I expelled myself. あんたが俺を調べたってのはよくわかった。大した情報源を持ってるらしい。だがなんで俺を調べた？今カムロ町の不動産屋が欲しがあるものといえば、一つしかありません。空の一粒に決まっているじゃないですか。Okay. また空の一粒か。いや、cuz 
Okay, but what's your angle, Tachibana? Why, why do you want to protect Kazuma-san? Why do you want to protect Kazuma-san? きっと真犯人を追えます。なんでそこまでして俺を引き入れようとする。あんたの本当の目的は何なんだ？俺の服を返してくれ、立花さん。私の申し入れを拒むと。あんたの話は俺にとって都合が良すぎる。この街はそうい
Well, I can't buy that because I don't have 30 million yen. I only have 9 million yen. So... How about we go down to here? Yeah, let's... Let's let's boost my maximum health again. That's gonna help me a lot. And... Okay, I can't do that yet. I need, like, keys. I do like upgrade systems like this. I like geometric level-up systems. Um, a mighty knee strike unleashed from a low stance. Sure. Okay. Let, we'll, we'll hold on to 5 million yen there. Well, what, what's over here on the rush style? So do I only get that HP boost when I'm in brawler style? Oh no, this says applies to all of Kiryu's battle styles. Okay, well let's um increase our maximum health just a little bit more here since it's cheap. Very cool. Okay, so we'll save our last just shy of 5 million yen. Um, yeah, so my wife, who is awesome, got me a PS4 as an early birthday present. Because um, I've never had a PS4. I wasn't, I wasn't going to go all the way to the PS5 yet. Because even though the PS5 is very, very nice, it's also just like... It's decadent. It's like... It's, like, too nice. Alright, let's fight these guys. Nice dodge. Okay, so I can hold and knee. Wait. Let me try that again. Let me, uh... What if I... And knee! Alright. Got my Captain Falcon moves there. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Yeah, there's just... There's a lot of games on the PS4 that I wanted to play and I just never had one. Um, a big one being Persona 5 Royal. Um, hey. Alright, I'll fight some drunkards. Yeah, this is a good way to, like, just make money. Just go around and punch people's lights out. Punch the yen out of them. Um... So yeah, came with some games. I got a Spider-Man, which I'm playing right now. I got a God of War, or a, you know, Dad of Boy, that God of War, which I'm excited to play. I I'm really excited to play all four of them, because uh, I also got Horizon Zero Dawn, and I got... Um, am I allowed to go into any of these places? I'm, like, looking for things on the minimap to do. Um, okay, what was the other game I got? Uh, The Last of Us, um, en Enhanced, or, or Remastered, The Last of Us Remastered, yeah, not Part 2, because, um, yeah, I actually never played The Last of Us, even though I know everything that's going to happen, and I always, like, liked the story a lot, um, because I know the whole story, I've never actually played it, and I would like to, and maybe make a character study on it sometime. Speaking of character studies, I am working on character study episode 6, but I haven't really made much progress since the last time I told you guys I was working on it. Um, it's just been very slow going. Uh, work's gotten a lot more busy for me lately. Um, yeah, it's harder for me to... You know, because I like to kind of, like, sneak in working on my channel when I have downtime at work, but I just have no downtime at work now because I have a new, I have a new super, a uh, new supervisor, a new manager, and he's, he's great, I really like him, I really respect him, but he's, he's a taskmaster, he's, he's keeping us moving, which is certainly not a bad thing, but okay, let's, uh, let's, let's do this plot. Oh, that was a ghost girl. You saw her. She just vanished. Hey, man. Am I, uh, allowed back in? I know you're not very happy with me. だが
おやさんももう大丈夫ってことだおやさんのことはまだだ俺の濡れ衣が晴れねえ限り道島組はおやさんに責任かぶせる気でいるなんでだよお前がもう組を抜けたってのにかああただそれでも一歩前進だ道島のダイモンが外れた以上こっから好きにやらせてもらうクゼを捕まえて真犯人の居所を吐かせてやるそうだな分かったそれじゃあとりあえず柏木さんにも伝えねえと行こうぜいや俺は登場会から破門された人間だもう風間組の事務所には入れねえ柏木さんにはお前から伝えるんだ何言ってんだよ水くせえないいから来いってせめてものけじめだ錦きっちり筋は通す筋ってお前は何も悪いことしてねえのによだったらお前この後アパート帰るだろ俺もすぐ行くから詳しい話はそこで聞かせてくれ分かったじゃあ後でな Yeah I guess it would look pretty bad if like after you know getting expelled I just went right back into Kazuma house、um, I should head home for tonight from here it'd be fastest to walk north through the hotel district Okay, that sounds good. So, what are these? Are these do not pass markers? Yeah, I should just head home for tonight. The quickest route is straight north from here. Okay, yeah, because people were telling me to like look around for like side quests and for restaurants to eat at and for ways to make extra money and gain extra items before going into more story missions. So, I want. To keep an eye out for that.、Uh, hey, you. Is it that drunkard again?、Uh, no, it's a, it's a neckbeard. t h e r e a problem? Yeah. You seem to think you can just walk by me without a word. Oh, he is a giant man. My goodness. Do I know you? This isn't your turf. Why should I have to tell you anything? I'm not here to chat. If you don't want to get hurt, you'll leave all the cash you've got and get lost. Oh boy, you're in the wrong town. <laughs> so, this is a shakedown? You should pick your targets better. I don't have a single yen for chumps like you. Then I guess we'll do this the hard way. Hope you're insured. So, not being a Yakuza anymore, <laughs> Mr. Shakedown. The fact that I'm not a Yakuza anymore, though, like, I don't have that protection to fall back on. Oh, God, Zengief. Get up, get up, get up. Yo, yeah, he did shake me down. He shook me way down. Was that a supposed to lose fight? Eh, you're not half bad. I, I feel three quarters bad. I'll let you off the hook this time. What? If I'm having trouble with somebody like you, I need to change my training regimen. Time to bump up the intensity. Which is going to be expensive. If I want to save up that kind of money, I've got some shaking down to do. Well, you'd get that kind of money if you took the money you just shook down from me. But okay. Damn it, get back here! He does not like losing fights, Kiryu. Hey, you okay, man? Yeah. You just had the misfortune of meeting Hiroya I Igashira. Mr. Takedown, they call him. Mr. Shakedown? Did I just say Takedown instead of Shakedown? Yeah, Mr. Shakedown. Yeah, he'll go after anybody that crosses his path, and then he takes everything they've got. You seem like you can hold your own in a fight. That guy's on a whole different level. If he sets his sights on you, you run for it. It's definitely more than your average tough guy could handle. Still, I wish somebody would come along and beat all that stolen money out of him, though. What? Did he get you too? Damn right he did. Took my whole holiday bonus. I knew I should have made a beeline to the bank with it. 
You be careful, too. Next time you're sitting on a stack of cash. Oh, and rumor has it Igashira is not the only Mr. Shakedown, and that they aren't just a Kamurocho thing. Stay sharp if you ever go out of town. So is this like a thing like those guys can be on the street and they can attack you? Mr. Shakedown, huh? He was insanely tough. I probably haven't seen the last of him. Better keep my eyes peeled. If you lose to Mr. Shakedown in battle, he'll take all the money you have. If you spot him in the street, the safest tactic is to run away before he can rope you into fighting. If you can beat Mr. Shakedown, you'll reclaim, reclaim all the money he's stolen from you. The amount he's carrying varies at different times. If you can take him down when he's especially flush with cash, you can make back more than what you've lost. Okay, interesting. I should just head home for tonight. Yeah, also, though, like, this is an appropriate time for that because Kiryu can be shaken down now without, you know, the whole Yakuza coming after that guy. How can I help you? You got pocket tissues. Thank you. Um, I want to look real quick. Uh, yeah, so I have this plush Mega Drive toy. Um... Oh, it's cute. It's, like, made into a little guy. But, uh, it doesn't look like it does anything. And tissues. I can't use the tissues. Okay, so I don't actually have anything I can use right now. Well, no, I probably can't use the tissues because I'm not in combat. I don't have, like, my health up. Um... Okay, so I can go into a restaurant. I can go into this restaurant. Yeah, so people said I should be eating at restaurants. Uh, welcome, are you ready to order? Sure. What would you like? Um, so we got some different sizes of beef bowl. Uh, okay, so these are to heal me back up. Let's get extra large beef bowl. Cool, cool. Uh, thank you. Please come again. All right, so we healed back up in case there's, you know, something else horrible that happens to me. So that it's a little harder to get shaken down again. Though I don't know if you can escape from combat. So I think once I'm in combat with a Mr. Shakedown, I'm pretty much out of luck. That, that's, that's what it's looking like. Um... Where else can I go? Can I, can I like go in a movie theater? I I would expect there to be things on the mini map if there's stuff I could do. But oh look, it's Sega's High Tech Land. I want to go into Sega's High Tech Land. Ooh, yay! I can actually go into the. Is it an arcade? Um, sorry, checking my timer here before I mess around in the arcade. Yeah. So, Opa Opa. It's Opa Opa from uh, Fantasy Zone. And I think those chicken things might be from Fantasy Star. Oh man, Space Harrier. We got... Are these playable arcade games? Oh, they are, aren't they? Um... Yeah, let's see if we can play some Space Harrier. Uh, that's Space Harrier. 100 yen to play. Do I want to play? Sure. I'm not very good at Space Harrier, but sure, I'll give it a go. Uh, also, I can get CP from entertaining myself. I guess the other time I entertained myself was when I played karaoke. Oh my gosh, he's so extra. He said, that's how I feel when I sit down in an arcade machine. Okay, right bumper to fire, right trigger to rapid fire, switch screen type, fly, um... Okay. Yeah, I have not played a lot of Space Harrier. Oh. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. How do I how do I insert the coin? Wait. Um I I, I want to insert coin. No, don't quit the game. Wait, I I'm trying 
Oh, that changes the screen. Cool. Um, Welcome to the there we go. Start. Get ready. All right. Yeah, I was having a like shut up and take my money moment. Oh man, old 3D space shooters. That's cool though. Yeah, Space Harrier was a arcade game made by Sega, of course, who also makes Yakuza. Um, yeah, makes sense that they would like, you know, that's just a good use of resources. If there's going to be an arcade to put in a game you also own. I, I love when like companies do stuff like this. Um, there's an indie game I played recently called Horus. Uh, you would recognize the game Horus if you watched uh, Steam December 2020. It didn't win, so I played it on my own time. But, um, Horus is an indie game, and there's a lot of, uh, like this, there's a lot of, uh, playable arcade games available to you, so you can play... Oh, yeah, the classic dragon. Um, yeah, I can just hold down the trigger here. I'll, I'll have to lower the volume down, because this noise is insufferable. This is a pretty good emulation of Space Harrier, too. Not bad at all. It's very... It's very clean. I always wondered, I don't know the lore of Space Harrier, but I don't know how the dude flies. Okay, so am I damaging you by shooting you? He, cha he changed color. Many more battle scenes will soon... What? Or is it the back of his head? Okay, come on, Dragon Man. Uh, but yeah, Horus also did this thing, but they just, like, remade a lot of classic. Like, they made, like, parodies of arcade classics, so there was, like, a, like, track and field, and there was... Whoa. Okay, got a little bit of lag there. Um, there was a track and field, there was a... I'm trying to remember what else they had. They had, like, a Guitar Hero kind of thing, and they had, like, a... Dance Dance Revolution sort of thing. And they had they had a 3D space shooter like this. But yeah, I haven't played an awful lot of Sega's arcade catalog all that much. This wasn't This wasn't on the Sega Genesis, was it? Was Space Harrier playable on the Sega Genesis? I feel like if it was, it wouldn't run quite this good. But yeah, I guess, you know, if I haven't already, I can check this off my list as, like, another game I played, Space Harrier. Cool. Um, oh, yeah, I have the high score, so let's um, put in... Whoops. Um, wait. Yeah. C... Oh, that's not what I meant. Whoops. Yeah, I want an F. No, not that either. C, F. Oh, okay. Ran out of time. Well, I have the high score now, don't I? Let's, uh, quit out. Okay, so that's some Space Harrier playing. Do I get anything for doing that well at Space Harrier? Will they remember that Kazuma Kiryu has the high score here. Um, that's Space Harrier. That's not Space Harrier. That's the... That's the employee-only section. Okay, so good to know I can do that. I don't know how fun that'll be for you guys to watch me play all these different arcade games, but, uh... What do we... What do we have here? Oh, okay, so these aren't playable. That's like, uh... That's like Mahjong. Um... Ooh, tempting. I do want an Opa Opa. I do. Okay, move claw right. Though I, like, hate crane games. Crane games are the most rigged thing in real life. 
Yeah, that's the experience. That's the experience of a crane game, man. Super. Like, you only have two points of contact. Um, let's try again. I really want an Opa Opa, though. I like Fantasy Zone. Nope. And we'll try this one more time. I shouldn't be going for this one. I should just pick a different one. Oh, okay. Okay. Hoping maybe it would be hooked around the foot, but yeah, no, crane games are impossible. Because, like, besides the fact that you just need to be, like, kind of good at them, also a lot of them are rigged where, like, they don't really hold on tight enough until, like, every tenth game, so they're not even possible 90% of the time. Uh, hello, welcome to the Sega Arcade. What can I do for you? Uh, change UFO catcher prizes. Um, I think the UFO catcher needs new prizes. Of course. Please give me just a minute. What? You could just tell him to change them? Wow. That's impressive. Yakuza do have a lot of sway. Thank you for waiting. Okay, and I see something shining on the floor here. I noticed it before, actually. You got the Amiri Okazaki Type A card. I don't know who that is. But hey, we got a card. We got something. Oh, okay, so that just set them all back up to, like, their standing position. Cool. Alright, sorry, Opa Opa, not today. Not gonna happen today. Uh, where to now? Sure, we can find, like, one more activity to do today. Even if it's just, like, going to sleep. Uh, or fighting these guys. Okay, yeah, yeah, I want to fight these guys. I'm just... I, I'm afraid of getting shook down again. I don't want to lose all my money. I guess a good solution to that would be to, you know, spend it all right away on upgrades and whatnot. Yeah, I did lose a little bit of money from that guy, though. Even though he said he wasn't going to actually take my money, I did still lose, like, 136,000 yen. Which isn't that much, but, you know, it upset me. I'm a little bit upset about it. Uh, somebody did answer my question, so when the minimap pings like that, it's because the plot marker is now on screen. Okay, so before I go in here, let's, um... Oh, yeah, an equipment... I need to... I need to buy equipment. wonder where I can buy these things. Um... Yeah, sticking with my brawler style here, what can I... buy with 4,000... 4 million yen? Um, yeah, I'll take this heat retention time. Okay, and, uh, that costs 30,000, that costs... Yeah, I'll take this heat retention time as well. Alright, so now I have less than a million yen, so if I get shook down, that's not all that bad. And I have invested in myself. What do we have over here? Um, okay, now we'll do one more fight and then we'll call it here. Shorter episode, but you know. It is some pretty fun violence, though. So, what was the most recent Yakuza game, besides uh, Like a Dragon? Which, I know now that Like a Dragon... So apparently in Japan, the whole series is called Like a Dragon, or the name of the franchise translates to Like a Dragon. But, uh... Anyway, sorry, I'm getting... I'm getting off topic. Uh... But, so Yakuza 0 was made 
you know, as a prequel. So the first one was Yakuza 1, which was eventually remade into Yakuza Kiwami, but that was after this one. But, so Yakuza 6 is, like, the latest one chronologically, not counting, like, a dragon. So, was Yakuza 6 made after Zero and Kiwami 1 and 2? Uh, probably, right? I guess I could just look that up. Um, anyway, okay, so that was, uh, Kiryu's walk home, his walk of shame after, you know, after getting away from the Yakuza with his, with all of his fingers intact, um, on the comic foil, and, oh wait, I wanted to, there we go. Yeah, I wanted to burn these guys to death. Yeah, these fights are also good because they, you know, let me kind of reacquaint with the controls a little bit more. Alright. Well, thanks for watching, and um, I will see you guys some more next time. Later. Nice little uh, ping there. Yeah, I, I see. Thank you for ruining my end screen, like, ambience I got going here.